Hey everybody, it's your girl Eminem. And to my right, I got Lady Simone, CDC, world class diva. And to my left, now it's your boy, aka LOL. Yeah. And this is <laughs> Keep It in a Hundred. <laughs> Hey, this is Keep It In A Hundred, and we are back this week. Um, as you can see, Mr. S is still here. I don't even know what he doing here with his green shirt on, looking like a little frog, but we ain't gonna go there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what he's, but this week we also have a stranger that we missed last week. Everybody turn over here to my most right. You see what I'm saying? Miss Lady Simone over here. She finally made it, you know what I'm saying? You know, she very important, whatever she was doing. People makeup and hair and stuff like that. You know, she really important or whatever. How's life? So how's the whole make no how's the whole makeup artist thing going? It's great. Is so it, today is the Lord it. really uh uh is the Lord really blessed? Don't don't, don't you dare. He's moving. Is he moving? <laughs> I feel right right. right, right, right man. No, they had missed you because okay. you was you hadn't been okay. here. Okay, he's moving by his spirit. Is he? Okay. What's today's topic? But anyways, I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Did you have a good week? Was I? Yeah. yeah. Find out some yeah. stuff, you know. It's good to hear. Yeah. High off of is caffeine that, and taurine. And all is that, that Christian like? What you mean though? I'm saying to get high off of caffeine. Is that Christian like? Is, is that a Christian way to do it? Sure. <laughs> you gotta stay up, hey. So you, you have, gotta, you have gotta a Christian way to get high. Huh? You got a Christian way to get high. Amen. Anyways, this week's topic is, um, <laughs> is there actually, uh, Christian tattoos? And, uh, what is it? Does God approve of it? Does God approve of it? But, yeah, are, are there Christian tattoos? Like, is there some, a sort of thing called a Christian type tattoo? You know what I'm saying? Can a tattoo be labeled Christian? And because they get it. You know, it's okay because it's a Christian white tattoo. So that's what we're going to be talking about this week. I mean, well, today. And um, and so, yeah, that's, that's what we got. So what do you think about that topic? I guess since I've been absent, you yeah. want to go first? Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, definitely going to go first. Um, hi, America. Good, good to be back. Uh, on Facebook. Being on the road. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> Doing big things. Um, okay, well, Every time we talk about a topic, it's always good to talk about the origin of that particular topic. So, where does tattoos come from? Um, when I did my research, it said that about a thousand years ago, um, somebody scratched themselves and they were bleeding. So, to stop the blood, they wiped, like they wiped their arm off, and they had ash and um, what was the other thing? Sut on their hand. So. After it healed, it left a mark, so that was supposedly a mistake. And after that, then people started to do it, but they did it for different reasons. You had Egyptians that put symbols symbols on themselves. You had high Polynesians mm -hmm. who um, marked their bodies just to for rank or their status in their tribes. You had different reasons, but. Um, overall, tattoos are basically either for religious purposes, um, either for rituals, or just something to do like a fad or a trend. So, um, the reason this topic came about is because I heard an individual say, you know who you are, I'm not going to call your name, um, say that um, they got a tattoo because they did it for God and that God was upset with them, God was, you know, happy. And a lot of people think that, um, Getting tattoos, you know, with praying hands or a cross, you know, it's okay because, you know, they're doing it for God. And to look back at it, so people would say, I'm glorifying God in my tattoos. How do I feel about it? Um, you could, maybe you could write, you know, at the bottom. <laughs> but I've never read in the word that God told us to, that's the way we're supposed to glorify him. You know, in the word, he always told us that and when we glorify him, people are supposed to see us where he created us to be images of him. So our characteristics are supposed to display um, our Christ-like behavior. So, Okay, I like that. So what do you think about Christian tattoos or is there any such thing as Christian tattoos? Well, for me, or should Christians get tattoos? Sorry about that. That's good. Um, for me personally, as a Christian man, 
Um, I'm not really into, for myself, tattoos or the idea of getting a tattoo. I'm not saying I wouldn't in the future probably get one, but right now, like where I'm at right now, I don't see myself getting a tattoo. But as far as other people and other people or Christians, um, rather, that want to get a tattoo, like for me, like, I feel like with a lot of things, I feel like it's based more so on the culture. Like, yeah, I don't feel like putting any old tattoo, anything on your body is like, you no, know, you know, right or anything. But like I'm saying, like, if you're doing it for glorify God, I feel like it's based, it, it shouldn't be more based on like, oh, God said you shouldn't do it. I feel like the culture influences a lot of the stuff we do from the clothes that we wear, the shoes that we wear, earrings, jewelry, everything. So I don't feel like tattoo should be anything different. So you're saying it's okay? I feel like it's okay. It's okay. All right. Um, I would say that, um, and me and, um, LOL had this conversation. By the way, you know, I don't know where he was disappeared to, but whatever, we're not going to go there. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> I have to throw his he name in there. Off, he, I don't know what he did, but anyways, um, <laughs> with tattoos, um, do I agree with them? No. I would say that tattoos are not a heaven and hell thing, meaning, um, it wouldn't be, I would put in a category of sin, as in fornication. He tells us not to fornicate, tells us not to lie, not to covet, all these different things. As far as the culture is concerned, um, and the origin of tattoos and all that, I would say that, you know, know why you're getting these things. You know what I'm saying? You're saying it's a trend. It's kind of like in the 90s when Criss Cross was wearing their clothes backwards, which I thought was crazy. But, you know what I'm saying, everybody else started wearing their clothes inside out backwards. They were wearing backwards. And I thought that was like foolishness, you know, and then the trend changes. And then, um, and then you know, we follow in that, uh, in that different trend. And as we see, we see the Little Waynes and the basketball players. So after they started doing it, then we see the other celebrities like Monica and uh, Keisha Coles, all of them. Um, they getting tattoos and it just seems like, okay, if the celebrities are getting them, I want to get them. You know what I'm saying? Um, not condemning anybody with tattoos, but it's just like, what's the reason behind it? Know the influence behind anything that you do in life. You know what I'm saying? What is influencing you to do these things? Uh, whether it be the movies that you watch, um, the things that you do, stuff that you entertain, know why you're doing them. You know what I'm saying? And is it really glorifying God as you would say? You know what I'm saying? So that's my, my thought on it. So you want to know if a Christian should have a tattoo? Well, we're at a local tattoo studio. Let's go in and talk about it. Tattoos can be controversial in different circles, especially in Christian circles. Some people would say, oh no, you can't do that. You're being very rebellious. Others would say, hey, tattoos are just an artistic expression on my body. Some would say, oh no, it's a dangerous, satanic, and cultish practice. Others would simply say, you know, it's a personal expression. The bottom line isn't as much as what do people think, but what does God think about tattoos? What does the Bible say? And the answer is, not a whole lot. There's one verse that speaks directly to tattoos. It's found in Leviticus 19, verse 28, when the Bible says, do not cut your bodies for the dead or put tattoo marks on yourself. I am the Lord. You could say that God is very, very clear and says you should not have tattoos, right? Well, to understand this verse, you have to look at the text in the context of what Leviticus 19 was saying as a whole. You see, the Israelites had just escaped from Egyptian bondage and passed through the Red Sea, and God was telling them, don't take on the pagan practices of the Egyptians. When an Egyptian would die, the remaining relative, they would often cut into their body to let out what was known as the lifeblood, and this was a pagan ritual. God said, don't do that. Some would also tattoo on their bodies pictures of pagan gods, and again, the one true God said, don't you ever do that. If you want to take Leviticus 19 literally, we need to be careful because this was the Old Testament law fulfilled by Christ in the New Testament. Leviticus 19 also tells us don't cut your hair or your beard. It says don't wear clothing with different kinds of material, things that we all do every day. Leviticus 19, the bottom line, was talking about idolatry. Don't take on the pagan practices of the Egyptians. 
Some of my Christian friends that are very pro-tattoo make a good argument that a Christian tattoo can be a good witness or a good conversation starter. They'll also argue if you want to be against tattoos, you should probably be against ear piercings because Leviticus 19.28 says, don't cut your body. If you are considering getting a tattoo, there are a couple things to think about. First of all, you might be considered rebellious by some. If you're going in for a job interview or meeting someone for the first time, people can be very judgmental and they may look at the outside and make a judgment on you, so it's something to think about. Secondly, you need to remember that you might be making a decision that you would later regret. I had a friend who tattooed I love Beth and then he married Susan which was awkward for everyone. And what looks good on you at 22 might look very saggy at 62. Just think about it. If you're 19 years old and living with mom and dad and mom and dad are paying the bills and you want a tattoo and mom and dad say no, there's no tattoo for you. If my kids ask, Daddy, can we get a tattoo? I'm gonna tell them, I don't think so right now. When they're grown ups, if they wanna get a tattoo, I'd simply say, let's make sure it's something you want forever in a place you want forever in a size you want forever. I'm not going to recommend they get it, but again, it's like a haircut, a style. It's the outside. What's on the inside matters most. That's my take on tattoos. In Leviticus, the 19th chapter, um, 28 verse, Jesus was addressing the people, and um, you had a lot of people that were cutting themselves and that were marking their bodies. and. He rebuked the people of God because they were conforming to what the other uh, pagan religions were doing. And they were basically doing that to, to um, worship their gods. So um, I said that to say this, like a lot of times we as believers, we do things that um, basically cause us to kind of conform to the things that the world are doing. And we should try to veer from that in any way possible that somebody won't be, won't look at us and compare us like, well, if they doing that, then I can do it too. So, I mean, anything to avoid that, you know, that would be the best thing. That's my um, thought on that. Anything? I feel like, I feel like I'm kind of um, bouncing off what you were saying. We were talking about how, you know, you should really think about before anything, you should really think about where the thing stems from and whatnot. Like, it's not like we were saying before, it's not like a heaven a health thing, but you should really um, think about certain things before you do them. Not for yourself, but for other people. Because there's a scripture that I think it's in Romans that talks about um, if a man, if, if, if I'm around a lot of a whole bunch of people that doesn't eat meat, that don't, oh, yeah, eat, don't, offend, don't offend, offend your brother. So you really got to be conscious of, you know, young believers and, and um, other people that, you know, might not be in the right mind seeing that you have a tattoo or other, any other thing that could you know cause a stir and whatnot because a lot of people are very young and a lot of people are very immature and we get mixed up in all these topics when we should when we should really be worried about you know more important things like seeking the laws than what if i got through our actions like we were saying earlier so definitely that is um, good. And you know, when I go here, she ain't really research on this. She got her last copy. Yeah, I always, I have to, I always, I always do. do. I gotta give it to her. She looking, all right, girl. She looking, girl. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? Studious over there. But anyways, but yeah. So I wanna say, um, always be conscious. Always be conscious as why, as to why you do things. What's the reason behind it? Um, and does it actually is it actually glorifying God? Um, until next time, you guys leave comments down here, please. Say hello to you know a little bugaboo. I don't know what he's doing here. And um, hi, L -L 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 -K -A -L -A. L -O -L. hey, I don't know where you are, but shout out to you. Oh, he got a he got a ministry now. He did. Uh, we'll take about the airways. All right. Until next time. See y'all later.